Hi, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going to go over the steps on how to install VMware's ESXi hypervisor onto your computer or onto a server. Now, the ESXi is what's called a hypervisor, so that lets you install multiple VMs, virtual machines, onto a computer. So you can have one physical piece of hardware, but have multiple Windows versions or multiple Linux versions or what have you running all on the server at the same time. So you install this thing called a hypervisor. You then connect to that hypervisor via a GUI, for example, something like vSphere, and then you can manage all of your virtual machines. So let's go through the steps. Now, this ESXi hypervisor is free to download off the VMware website. You would just need to register on their website to be able to download it. We are downloading version 6. Uh, you then copy that ISO that is downloaded onto a CD or a DVD, a bootable CD or DVD, or onto say, something like a SD card or a USB stick uh, that is also bootable. So once that is bootable, uh, you then start up your computer and you should be presented with this screen here. So we're just going to say uh, we want to install that. It's then going to look through this. We just click enter to install. It's then going to start to load all of the files from that ISO to be able to let you install your ESXi onto your computer or onto the server. So we want to say enter on this screen and we accept the end user license agreement. Okay, so it's going to detect your hard drive. So the hard drive that you're going to want to install your um, your ESXi onto. So this is a, I'm just using it in a test VMware environment already. So I'm actually installing ESXi within already a VM. So I'm, I'm setting it up as a VM. So your environment may be different. So you'll see your capacity there. In my case, it's 40 gig. Select the drive that you want to install the actual ESXi software and okay. and select your keyboard layout. We leave that as default. Now you wanna set up your root password. So this is the root password for your ESXi server or for your ESXi host. Make sure you note down this password. You don't forget this password. You will need this password to connect to your ESXi through something like vSphere. If you're gonna add this ESXi server into a vCenter, VMware vCenter environment, you'll also need to know what this root password is. So just go ahead and put it in and then confirm it. Okay, so we're now ready to install. It's giving you a warning that this disk will be repartitioned. So go ahead and do that with F11. It'll then it start the install of your ESXi it, will, it won't take too long, uh, so just let that go through and we'll check back once it's finished. So that install is complete. You'll see that it's successfully installed. You may note here that it says that it's currently running in evaluation mode for 60 days. So essentially after 60 days, your ESXi hypervisor will stop working. Now you can go and download a license key for free off the VMware website for ESXi version 6. Now keep in mind that this is going to be used in a test lab environment. If you are running in a production environment, licensing obviously will be different. So depending on what sort of servers you're running, if you're running SQL servers, Oracle servers, uh, if you're running multiple clusters, if you're wanting to do all these other features, you will, you will need different license models. So, but for this version, you can just go and download the free evaluation key, uh, the free key to get rid of your evaluation mode. All right, so remove the install disk before rebooting. So take out the disk, take out the USB stick that had the ISO running, and then press enter to reboot. So once your ESXi has rebooted, you'll see you'll be presented with this screen here, okay? 
It's going to say download tools to manage this host. So the tools would be something like vSphere off the VMware website, which again is a free tool. Shows you the specs, etc., etc. Down the bottom, you've got F2 or F12. F2 to customize, which is what we're going to do. So let's go F2. It's going to ask you for that root password that you did before. So go and put that in and OK. Then press F2 again. You're now going to be presented with this uh, basic screen. Okay. So you can configure your password. You can change your password from here. You can configure things like your network, which is what we're going to do right now. So first thing that I would do is when you install your ESXi, go ahead and update your IP address. Give it an IP address, give it a proper host name, give it the DNS, uh, IPs, the gateway, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and configure. Network adapters, we're going to leave this as, as the same. There's only the one NIC, the only one network card on this server. Uh, if you have multiple network cards, you can you know, adjust which network card you want to use for this. You can also set uh, VLANs as well if you want to. We're not going to do that for this guide. So IP version 4, config, enter. Now, use dynamic IP version 4. So this is something uh, which is called DHCP. So if you've got some, some sort of DHCP service running on your network, could be from your router, could be from a server itself, providing IP addresses to your computers. Uh, if you don't have that, go and set up a static IP. Generally, good rule of thumb, set your ESXi host always to have a static IP. Do not use it on, on dynamic because you will find that the IP will change on your DHCP server. Uh, you can get a, you can get around that. There is ways to get around that, but set up a static IP and you'll be uh, safe. Okay, go ahead and put in your IP address. So I'm going to just create one that I know that is free. For example, let's just go to 20. Okay, your subnet mask and then your gateway, which will be 172.16.1.1. And okay. So that is your IP, your subnet mask, and your default and your default gateway set. IP version six. We're not going to use that, so I'm going to disable. Okay, and then set up your DNS. Do you want DNS set up? Yes or no? We're going to set up my DNS. For example, so you're going to have your own DNS service, perhaps in your network. You can also set up your DNS as your uh, ISP DNS uh, IPs as well. So that'll let you go out onto the internet if you so need to. Okay, but in this case, I'm just going to set my local uh, primary and my secondary DNS and then the name of the server itself. So what do I want this server to be called? So let's just call it ESXi test just for now. You give it a meaningful name, obviously. Okay, you'll need this if you need to say bind your your host to AD, for example, in the future. But it also just makes it easier to manage your host if you know what the IP, uh, what the host name is, as opposed to knowing what the DNS uh, what, what the IP of the server is. Okay, so your DNS will manage um, your host name and, and what IP and resolving and everything like that. And okay, okay, and that is really it on that front. It's going to say, yes, do you want to change that? Uh, yes, it's then going to reboot your host as well. So that is basically it. You can also do the option F12 to restart or shut down your host. But that is now ready to go. So your host is now configured. The next step would then be to download something like vSphere off your, uh, out of the VMware website. There are other tools that you can use to connect to your ESXi host, but VC seems to be your pretty much your industry standard. Again, it is free. You then add that host. Uh, you can connect to it directly via the IP that we set before. And then you can go and configure a whole bunch of other things on that host directly. So you can add storage. You can, you can configure a whole bunch of other things as well. So that is the essential basic install of ESXi and a basic configuration. Well, I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more technical IT videos. Thanks for watching.